Only that time of year with this inclement weather we've been seeing. I mean, I was not exaggerating, guys. It was coming at me sideways oh, today. Yeah. <laughs> so you do want to bundle up because it is that time yeah. of the year. Yeah. It, we are at the point right now, Peyton, where I'm wondering where the sun has been. Mm -hmm. And it's a little early to be wondering that, I think, in the season. So what do you have? Well, there is going to be some sunshine within the next five days, which is, you know, right on for you, Laura Queso. But, you know, folks, I'm one of the opinion that if it's going to be cold, it might as well just snow. But if it's going to be warm, I'd like to see some sunshine. And I think we get kind of both of those as we go through the next week. Not full on snow, but the idea of mixing back in some snowflakes. Our average high this time of the year is in the mid 40s. We've been shy of that today. We stay that way tomorrow. We're closer by Thursday, which marks the first night of Hanukkah. But if you're looking at Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we trend unseasonably warm by about 10 to 15 degrees. The weekend, though, while it's going to be warm, we've got rain chances. So if you're trying to start to plan things for the next couple of days, Thursday and Friday are the days to kind of stretch the legs, maybe do something outdoors. I won't say one final time because, of course, you can add the layers, but obviously at a manageable pace when it comes to 50s outside. You don't typically get those in December. We've had a hodgepodge of precipitation across northeast Ohio today. Still parts of Cuyahoga County, uh, western Geauga County, even parts of Lake County still dealing with some pesty mist as well as maybe mixing in a snowflake or two. Same thing down in Richland County through southern Ashland County to Holmes to even Tuscarawas County. But why has... Uh, it actually been a little bit more rainy than snowy. It's because of the temperatures. So if you want to blame something for not seeing a whole lot of white stuff today, it's because our temperatures are definitely not cold enough. We are only in the upper 30s for a lot of you, but it still feels that way too. So we don't have a huge crazy wind chill to chat about right now, which would be that temperature I was just showing you in blue on your screen, which basically matches our current air temperature, which is great news for any of the local roadways too, because as temperatures start to slide as we go through the next several hours, we'll be back in the mid 30s. I think some of you further inland will approach the freezing mark, but it eliminates a hard slick spot uh, kind of warning to put out there come tomorrow morning. We're stuck in the clouds. The idea of a spotty shower, even the mixing in of the snowflake or two can't be completely ruled out, but it's all because of this system moving on through. So it's kind of taking over the Ohio River Valley now stretching into more of a even the upper terrain of parts of Pennsylvania. So the Appalachian spine will pick up some actual accumulating snow from this for us. Not really maybe a dusting on some grassy surfaces, but that's truthfully the best we've done today. And Nashville's Emirate on the hour forecast as we go through the overnight. Here's that chance again at some of that mixed precipitation moving on through. It kind of fades, maybe a break in the cloud cover tonight too. Tomorrow morning, temperatures close to freezing about 30 in Canton as you're out the door at 6 a.m. tomorrow, 32 in Ashtabula and closer to 40 in downtown Cleveland. Midday, we get a little sunshine to work with as well, but I think tomorrow is going to favor the mostly cloudy side of things, especially as we go through the second half of your Wednesday. If you're sending the kiddos out to the bus stop tomorrow, make sure that they are bundled up. Layers are going Going to be a necessity. Flurries are a possibility tomorrow as we're kind of stuck in the 30s and our wind chills will be a little cooler. Our actual high temperature favors the upper 30s while it will feel like we're closer to freezing throughout the entirety of the day. And your Union Home Mortgage extended forecast for you. 37 for your Wednesday, 47 for Thursday. We've got 50s for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but one of those 50 degree days looks a little bit more on the fun side than others. And that would be Friday. So if you're trying to maybe head out to the winter wild lights, I think that's what it's called the Cleveland Metro Parks. Maybe I'm saying that wrong, but if you want to go see the holiday lights Friday and maybe even Thursday night are the nights to do so, I'd make some indoor plans for Saturday and Sunday. And sorry to the Browns uh, fans that are headed out to the Muni lot and obviously Brown Stadium. They're going to need the rain gear. You know, it's never stopped them. It, it <laughs> never, and it right. never will. I, I was actually going to go see those zoo lights Sunday night. Oh, of course. But right but now, I'm earlier, thinking Laura. that's not going to be. So thank goodness for your forecast. So uh, 50s have to make up for some of that. Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. They do. Mm -hmm. so. All right, Great. Peyton. Thank you.